our request is that we, the schedule allocates us two hours for cross-examination in total and three hours for our evidence in chief tomorrow. We, we beseech that without compromising that time, we put three hours on cross-examination, which will eat from our time tomorrow, our own time, so that we'll have two hours to deal with our evidence in chief. That is not in line with the directions that I've given. You have two hours for purposes of a cross-examination of this witness. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We will proceed. Honorable Mutuse, I will refer to you as Honorable Mutuse uh, throughout. And uh, for the benefit of the senators, we were actually contemporaries at the university many years ago. Mr. Speaker, as they are setting up the witness administratively, I beg my time be paused. Proceed, Council. Thank you. Honorable Mutuse, uh, uh, before being a member of parliament, what is your professional background? I am a, a lawyer. You're a lawyer by profession. You therefore understand the substantive laws and the procedural laws of this country. Is that a fair assessment? Yes, it is. I will take a few minutes examining you, then I will release you to my learned colleagues, Mr. Swanya and Mr. Masharia, to take you on a number of issues. But allow me to start with the issue of Justice Esther Maina. You are aware, being a lawyer, that by law, you are bound by the allegations you presented to the National Assembly. Are you aware of that? Well, yes, we are bound by the allegations in the context of the rules of the Senate and the other laws. To deal with the issue of just as minor, allow me to take you to paragraph 64A of your allegations. And that would be volume one of the National Assembly documents, page 32. Do you have that allegation? Yes, I am there. The allegation says that sometime in January 2024, his Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa made a sensational but false allegation that on Esther Maina, judge of the High Court, had engaged in corruption. He publicly said that he would present a petition for the removal of the said judge, which he has not done to date. It is your allegation that Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa has not presented this petition to date being 26th of September, 2024. True or not true? This is in context. The fact true or not true? Is it true that your claim says he has not presented that claim as at 26th? True. Do you still stand by that part of your allegation that he has not presented that complaint to the JSC to that date? I have since learned that uh, indeed... Do you still stand by that allegation? I have since learned that indeed His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa did present a petition, but... That, Do you still that, stand by no. the fact that he has not presented the, the claim to the JSC as at 26 September 2024? I have since learned that he did present a petition. To that extent, that allegation is not true, yes? to the extent of presenting the, the, the petition, but to the extent of threatening the judge. To the extent that he will say he, he has not presented the allegation to the JSC to us at 26th we, we September are, 2024, that allegation is not true, is it? We are in agreement, counsel. Thank you. 
you therefore understand where we start from by saying it starts with falsehoods. Do you understand that? that that's, 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 that's you saying so. As whether you understand it. You have drawn the attention of these senators to the judgment of Esther, Justice Esther Maina, haven't you? I have done so. Your intention of doing so is to have these senators draw an inference of acts of corruption on the part of His Excellency. True or not true? It's to buttress. Thank you. It's to. My, it is my okay. allegation that uh, Justice Maina had made a finding against the Deputy President. Did you attend the hearing of that case? I do not have to attend. It is a reported case. First whether you, in fact, attended. Please answer my questions. You know the process. I did not attend. And there is no His trial. Excellency, in the clip you have played, says that the judge denied him a chance to cross-examine witnesses. Did you see that in the clips? Yes, I did see. Did you have any evidence to the contrary that the judge didn't deny him? See, if you are denied... Do you have any evidence to the contrary? Either you do or you don't. And that is not my, that is not my allegation. Because my question to you is, do you have any evidence to the contrary? Answer my question. But that the truth is, that is a judicial process. Do you have any evidence to the contrary when the, His Excellency says the judge denied him a chance to cross-examine witnesses? I do not have to. Do you in fact have it, Mr. Andre Mutuse? Please be decent as a lawyer, a lawmaker, and a witness before this house. I do not have to. Honorable Mutuse, I do not have questions that you either say yes or no. Thank you. Thank you. You then say you are aware that there was an appeal from the decision of Justice Minor. Do you confirm that as a fact? Yes, I am aware that there was an appeal that was... I'm happy with that answer. Let me make progress. That appeal was settled by consent. True or not true? True. Is a consent a lawful way of settling disputes in court to your knowledge as a lawyer? It is a lawful way, but it is not a settlement. I have, you have answered it my question. I am by merit or demerits. Is a consent a lawful way of settling court disputes before court, disputes for a court of law? It is a lawful way, but it is. I'm going to my next question, Mr. Mutuse. You have confirmed my answer. Do you know, as a lawyer, that a consent order adopted by the court becomes an order of the court? Indeed. Have you presented that consent before the senators for their own assessment of it? It is not part of my case. Have you presented that consent before the senators for their own assessment of it? It was not part of my case. I did not present. Honorable Mutuse, I've asked whether you have in fact presented it. No. Have you lodged any complaint against the public officials of the Asset Recovery Agency? who signed that consent? I have lodged it in Parliament. Was, have you lodged it before any investigative yes, through, agencies? Through this motion, I lodged a complaint in the National Assembly exercising the powers that I have as a member of the National Assembly. I sought to know whether you have lodged any right, complaint against right, the right. officials of the Asset Recovery Agency. Are you saying this motion is against the officers of the Asset Recovery Agency? This motion is against the handling of that case. Are you saying this motion is a complaint against the officers of the Asset Recovery Agency? I'm not saying so. Have you lodged any complaint against the officers of the Asset Recovery Agency who entered that consent? I have not done so. Are you suggesting that in a way this motion is an appeal against the consent order in the Court of Appeal? I am not suggesting so. By the way, do you know the position of the law on illegal consents? Can a court of law accept an illegal consent? I wouldn't imagine that. You're a lawyer. Can a court of law accept an illegal consent? No. 
Was this consent accepted by a court of law? It was adopted, yes. Shouldn't that present a presumption of legality until you present evidence to the contrary? Indeed. Thank you. Allow me to move to a second element. The videos in respect of the evictions along Nairobi River, I trust that was video nine and 10. I'm just trying to recollect. Let's have video nine played from the technical side. Mr. Speaker, may I have video nine played? Is it on? We may need to have the sound, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I would argue that the time taken by the technical people to play my videos is frozen because I have no control about it. No, that cannot be the case. Otherwise, it will continue freezing time. Mr. Speaker, may didn't direct the people in the gala, in we the technical side. We had a similar problem. Council for the National Assembly was uh, leading the council, I mean, the, the witness and evidence in chief. And time was, was in frozen. So we're going to be fair. We're going to apply the very same rule. Will the governor, John Sonsak. Mr. May I have the public, the technical side play my videos? My time is running. Deputy President, Rigadi Gashagwa, and... Mr. Speaker, may I get fair treatment on this question? May I get my videos played without eating into my time? That's exactly what is happening. Because. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong video being played. May I have the video nine played? Can you pause the time? For Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yeah, may I have video 10 played? Video 10 then. May I have video 10 played? I'll have 10 and 10A. Council for the Deputy President. Is it a video that had been played previously? Yes, you know, there are the two videos in respect of the evictions along Nairobi River. They were played here seamlessly when the assembly side were presenting their case. Very well. Council for the Deputy President, do you have your technical person at the control room? I, I wouldn't be able to establish at the moment. Please do confirm that your technical person is also in the control room.
Um, Mr. Speaker, may I move to some other thing, then I'll proceed with the video later. I'm going to submit my turn of thought. Proceed, Council. Thank you so much. What I want to say, allow me to move to another limp, which is at paragraph 74 of your motion, and that is at page 36. It runs to page 37. Confirm, Mr. Mutuse, that in respect of ground 10, paragraph 74A and B are the two illustrations, the two particulars that you have given to prove that ground. Yes, in the motion, those are the two grounds. Let me start with the ground B. Paragraph B, rather. Confirm that you allege that His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa has influenced his family members, allies, associates, and proxies to take control of a local corporate society in Madeira, which they are financially hemorrhaging. Is that what the motion claims? It does claim that so. Confirm that you have not given us 